Hey, what's going on guys? MP7 Moab on the map mission. I'm Tom, of course, and today I'm bringing you guys a commentary about the Xbox One on the PS4. So it may very well be a very controversial commentary. Maybe it'll have a little bit more dislikes than usual, but hopefully you guys can understand my opinion and just take it for what it is. But anyway, guys, I'm not going to be taking either side. You know, I really don't care. Um, what it, which is the better console, the PS4, or the Xbox One? It, it all comes down to personal preference, and it, at the end of the day, I think most people, in my opinion, are just going to be sticking to the same console they already have. You know, if they if they have an Xbox 360 right now, they'll probably end up sticking to an Xbox One. And the main, or, it, I'm not saying everybody will, but the main reason for that, because you know, some people are are definitely going to be switching, because you know, some people just like to jump bandwagon. And uh, go with the PS4 because it seems as though the PS4 has won the first round of console wars. And, you know, people are going insane. A lot of people have died in this war. Um, so, you know, we have to send out more troops. And it's getting pretty intense. You know, people are getting pretty mad. You know, they're getting their butt hurt. They're getting their butt hurt right now. But, you know, the main reason for what I just said, you know, a lot of people are probably going to be end, end up, you know, what when it comes down to it, when it comes down to going to the store and buying which one you want, a lot of people are just going to, you know, buy another one of the one they already have. And I'm not saying they're going to buy an Xbox 360. I'm saying if you have an Xbox 360, they're probably going to end up buying an Xbox One. And if they have a PS3, they're probably going to end up buying a PS4. And the main reason for that is they're used to what they like. They don't want to learn a new console. And I'm not saying, like, it's something, it's like learning a new language. It's really not that hard to learn or anything like that. But people don't want to inc uh, inconvenience themselves. They really just want to stick to what they have. They've grown accustomed to it. Um, they like the controller, they don't want to be switching to a new clunky controller that they're not used to, that they haven't been using for six years, or however fucking long these consoles have been out, and I know it's been way too long in some people's opinion, but it's just the way it's gonna be, man, I mean, especially when it comes to, like, how stuff is organized, the dashboard and whatnot, I don't know what it's called for the PS3, I'm sorry, I do apologize, I think it's just called the dashboard as well. But, you know, a lot of people like how it's organized on the console they have right now, and they're not going to switch. And a lot of people love Sony, or they love Microsoft, and uh, they're going to be really butthurt if they don't end up winning the console war. So, um, very controversial topic. I know a lot of people are dying in this war right now. It's a very intense war. But, uh, in the end, the Xbox One will prevail. Prevail, Even though it's lost the first round, it will be victorious. I fucking guarantee it. No, I'm just joking, guys. I'm... I really don't care. I mean, I'm probably going to end up... I don't know which one I'm, I'm really going to buy. I really I really don't think one's better than the other. I really don't, guys. I, I really do think it's all the same. Um, you know, some have a slight advantages over the other in certain aspects, but it all evens out at the end. Uh, you know, the big complaint with the PS3 was that it didn't have party chat, which was a, was a big mistake in many people's minds, but um, it's almost guaranteed that it, it'll be implemented into the ps4 um another big mistake I, I don't know about the mistakes that the xbox 360 made because i haven't heard much about them but i i do know it made mistakes too and another thing that people didn't like is that the you know even though they're, they're cheap headsets that the xbox 360 shipped out with at least the xbox 360 shipped out with one and the ps3 didn't so that's that's a big thing um a lot of people because, you know, a lot of people, you know, they want to be able to communicate, and uh, when people don't have a mic, it could, it could get annoying. You know, mics do break, and the, especially the cheap ones that the Xbox 360 came with. Everybody who got that system, I think almost everybody ended up buying, like, a Turtle Beach or, you know, an Astro or anything like that. They ended up... So anyway, when I was really fucking cut off by my software, because apparently I ran out of fucking gameplay, and it just cuts me off from talking pretty pissed about that i'm about to beat up my computer but anyway i think i was talking about the headset or the the cheap ass headset mic whatever you want to call it that the xbox 360 shipped with so um you know a lot of people did end up buying a new one anyway but that's not the point the point is that the xbox 360 did ship with one and um sorry so the next big topic and the last one i'm gonna end off this commentary with is that the PS4 is a hundred dollars cheaper than the Xbox One? And at first, even this had me thinking about, well, maybe it would be worth it. I know it, like, I'm, I don't really like the controller. I'm not used to it. It's not something I've been using for a while. You know how it's set up. I'm not used to it. I like the Xbox ways of, you know, a rain house arranged with the dashboard and everything. I like that better. You know, I'm used to the Xbox. You know, but it had all. It had me putting all of that shit aside and really consider for a little bit if I if I actually might buy the ps4 over the xbox one it had me putting all that shit aside and it had me you know contemplating it 
but this is really more of like a, a marketing strategy on on Sony's uh, on their uh, level rather than you know it because let me tell you guys right now the Xbox one is shipping with the connect it's you're getting that you don't need to pay extra for the connect like you did with the Xbox 360 it comes with the console I'm not too sure if the ps4 is doing that I think that you know whatever their thing is I don't even know what it's called it might be like you might have to buy it separately I'm not sure if that's the reason for the $100 difference it very well might be this $100 difference it had me thinking like it really did if I was gonna buy the uh, the Xbox the PS4 over the Xbox One, because you know it's a hundred dollars, it's not twenty five bucks, it's not five bucks, it's not ten bucks, it's a hundred dollars. That's a big deal. That's one fourth of the price of the PS4 in whole. So it's a, it's a big deal, you know. It's especially you know people, a hundred dollars is a big deal. That's the bottom line, you know. People money doesn't grow on trees, so it 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 really is a big deal. So it, it even had me thinking, but you know. In reality, the Xbox One really you could be getting more for your money since it does ship with a Kinect. I'm not sure if the PS4 is going to be shipping with whatever their version of the Kinect is. We'll just have to wait and see. And also, you got to remember about bundles. The Xbox One might bundle in some free games. You know, if it bundles in two, three free games, then the value for what you're getting for your money would be better for the Xbox One still. But anyway, guys, I'm out. Peace.